Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to air print in within the Objective-C language. Now already on my sim, let's have an example of what we're going to be creating today. We have a simple text view here and within the text within it we can add more to it, can do whatever we like to it but basically whatever's within it we can be able to print um, via air print to any wireless printer obviously with the capabilities of having air print and print out whatever is within the text field so if I press the button here it brings up our printer options now I have the printer simulator here which you can download from the Apple developer section in under the hardware tools we can go into it once it's open and select our printer so I'm going to simply select an inject printer and select print and it will contact the printer and it may take some time depending on how quick it can basically work and how much data it has to pass over but once it's created that connection it will print out the text or anything else which you have selected for it to print straight on to a piece of paper and in terms of this on the printer simulator it will display it as a PNG image or a PDF image um, in the preview application on our computer so we just wait for a second and there you go, you see it popped up straight away there. So we have our text from within it. Displays in our simple PDF file here. Uh, when you print it out, it won't have these yellow marks around here. It's just something that gets displayed on the PDF when you go to air print. Uh, but you can see there, the text within our label is now printed out into a simulated piece of paper within our preview there. Okay, and so we'll close these down, let's minimize the print simulator. So already on my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Objective-C Print for the purpose of this tutorial. Now it's quite simple to do and easy to perform. All we simply need to do is go into our main.storyboard and configure our interface to have the ability to print something out. So if we select it and just change the size of something similar to an iPhone screen, let's check the iPhone 4 screen. And then what we're going to do then is scroll down and find our button, which we'll place at the bottom of the screen. We're going to create it similar to the um, preview on the simulator. And I'm just going to scroll down now to find our text view, which there we go. And I'm going to place that in. And I'll just size it out a little bit more so you can see all the text from within it. And then I'm going to select both of these objects and I'm going to add in some missing constraints just so it resizes depending on what screen size we are on. Okay, and so once we've done that, we can simply bring up the assistant editor as we want to be, have the ability to use these objects. So we need to create an outlet for our um, text um, view and an action for our button. So make sure we select it on the view controller.h. I'm going to add in our little parentheses here to create our outlets and actions section. Then we're going to control click or right click and drag over our text field, uh, text view, sorry, and paste it in. I simply name it text view and then create an action for our button. Repeat the same process, but outside the parentheses and our name, make sure this is selected as an action and I'll name this uh, print. There we go. Okay, so once you've done that, we can close down the assistant editor and go back to our standard editor. And the first thing you're gonna do is jump into our view controller.h. Now the reason we can do this is because we need to add in the UI interaction um, controller delegate within our classes. So just after the UI view controller, we do the more than less than symbol there and we type out UI print interaction controller delegate. This means we have the ability to load up that interface where we can select what print out how many copies of the print we would like. Okay, so jump into our view controller.m and from in here, all the code is going to be placed within our button. So everything that happens when we click our print button uh, will perform uh, and give us the ability to print out the text within our text field. Oh, text view, sorry. So I'll space out our button here. And we're going to start by creating an NS multiple string, basically what we want to, basically where we do we get the print from. So what information are we going to print? And we're going to basically get that first. So we type out NS multiple string, find it down here. There we go. Space asterisk, and I simply name it print body. So it'll be the body of the print, space equals space, and we do two brackets there. And in between these two brackets, we do ns multiple string again. Then we do string with format. And this highlight section here, we do the at symbol quotation mark quotation mark. And within here, we could actually place in some text that we want to print anyway. But we don't want to print any type of text. We want to actually print out um, the text within our text view. 
So what we need to do is do a short code of the percentage sign and at symbol. And what that will be linked to is our text view dot text and that have a bracket and a semicolon. So whatever the text is within our text view will be linked up into this short code within a string and then printed out uh, in the print body, as you could call it, within our printer. Now we need to go on to create our UI printer uh, interaction controller and have that load up so we can basically pick and choose what, what printer we basically want to use. So how we do that, then let's type out UI print, and we should find it here. If not, we'll just simply type it out. So print interaction um, controller there, space. And we're going to shorten it down now. I'm simply call it PIC, short for print interaction controller. Space equals space. We're again, we do two brackets, and in between them, we do UI print interaction controller again. Shared print controller, and then a bracket and a semicolon. And then we get our PIC, which is short for print interaction controller, dot delegate. Ooh. So basically, space equals space self. So we need to add because we can't add it on the interface and that via semicolon there. And now we need to go on to set up our print information in terms of the output type, the job type, and link that all together. So we do UI print info, print info, space asterisk, and I simply call it print info, easy enough to understand, space equals space, two brackets, UI print info, and then we do space print info, and there are a bracket and a semicolon. So what we called it again was print info, and we want that to be dot output type, and the output type is going to be uh, UI print info, ooh, info output there, and we've got general, grayscale, photo, and photo grayscale, so you can choose what kind of um, print type you basically want to print it out, so if you're not using text, and maybe you're using a photo, maybe you want to select photo, or if you want to give some kind of effect, like a grayscale effect on the photo, you can do all this kind of stuff to it. But as we're only working with text, we're going to select general, and that with a semicolon, and then we're going to go again to our print info, dot job name so when we're printing it out we basically got a job name for it uh, space equals space and again asterisk um, at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in that very semicolon and we're going to give it the job name simply print job it doesn't really matter it's just something for your reference when you're seeing it print out within the um, the console of your printer and then finally we need to get our PIC to simply dot print Info is going to equal our print info that sets that all up. And make sure you got a semicolon on the end of that. Now we need to move on to formatting the data within the piece of paper or in the printer and how it's going to basically be displayed. And what we're going to do is add it in some padding. So the print will start within so far in and around the P, like the page of the print. Uh, so what we need to do then is do UI simple text print formatter and we do asterisk and I simply call this text formatter space equals space bracket bracket UI simple uh, text print formatter again space alloc and then we do init with text and the text is going to be using will be the information from our print info and have a bracket and a semicolon and then we get our text formatter which we shortened it down to so simply dot start page to so simply equal zero as that's the page you can start printing out. You don't want to start at page four if we've got you know 10 pages that we want to print out. Uh, you want to start at page zero to then get our text formatter again dot content insets. Now this is where we're going to basically pad it around the um, page. So we go UI edge um, insets make there we go and here we're going to set it all similar to 72 72 72 and 72 now what this means is it's going to have the print and have a gap of one inch around the whole page so it's kind of setting it all up and how it would look normally when you print a general piece of paper out anyway
So you can play around with this and set it up however you like. Maybe you want to go full screen on the print, so you're placing 0, 0, 0, 0. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but this works one of the best ways. Let me end that with a semicolon. And then we get our text formatter again to dot max um, content uh, width. And what that's basically going to equal is 6. We got asterisk there to basically oh, space asterisk there to basically times it uh, by 72 and that erase semicolon. Or change it while it's ever it's timing it by by whatever you've got in the um, edge insets make here to make sure it all kind of complies and works perfectly. And then we, this time we get our PIC, our print uh, interaction controller, uh, shows page range. And we're going to equal that to yes. Okay then. So now we basically set that out. The only thing left to do now is simply present the um, PIC, the print interaction controller to our users. Now I've just noticed something quickly that we have the wrong print info selected there. So where we have our init with text, we need to make sure that this is our print um, body and not print info. We should get rid of those errors there. Uh, you need to make sure that's there 100% as uh, we want to use the text from our text view, which is linked up at the top. So it's my bad there. Uh, and also we need to add in now something for if it fails in terms of printing uh, what we're going to do. So we're going to create a void statement from within our action here um, to kind of handle any um, kind of errors that appear. So what we do then is type out void, and then we do our two parentheses there, and in between there, we do our little upwards arrow, completion, handler, oh, spell it right there, handler, uh, and after that bracket there, we need to again create another set of brackets, and then we do a UI print interaction controller. There we go space asterisk with a comma and we need to set up after that there are bool comma ns error and we finish that there with our asterisk and then we simply want that to equal again our upwards arrow of our two brackets there it's a little bit confusing this but this is how you set it up our print interaction controller again space asterisk and we call this print uh, controller comma of our bool space completed comma ns error space asterisk error and then we get our parentheses there and press enter and then what we need to place in here now is simply if um, there was an error, then we just need to display something in the log. You can go on to add in an alert or anything else you want to use it, but is this going to be displayed from our half? So simply do an if statement. So if uh, exclamation mark completed and then two and symbols error. And then in the statements here, we just simply want it to have our ns log. So within here, like I said before, you can put an alert in or anything like that you want uh, to display this error if one occurs. Uh, we can simply put um, print error. And then we do a colon there. And then we do a percentage sign and an at symbol because after that, we're going to do a comma to then put in error. So it will tell us what error happened if one occurred and then a bracket and a semicolon. And then finally we put a um, semicolon on the end of that. Right, and we got an error on the completion handle here and that's because we need to use that to present when we present our view. So we do bracket PIC, present animated, in the um, animate section here we went yes, in the completion handler, we put in completion handler and that of a bracket and a semicolon. Okay, so it takes a while to set up, but once it's all configured there, we can go to build and run. And you can see once it's been loaded up now, I'm going to select our text field here. I'm going to put in a load of stuff. And I'm just going to simply 
um, get rid of the keyboard there as we don't have it to dismiss but there we go so we've got a lot of stuff on the end of it there little um, gobbly goop so when we go to print that you can see that it's this one it's printed and not a um, previous one which we did at the start of the tutorial so we bring up our print simulator we go to print we've got our printer already pre-selected as we used it before and we go to print and again now it's con um, connecting to our um, printer so it might take a while now depending on how quick it's going to uh, need to take basically before it prints out that into a nice PDF file within preview so we just give it a second and now you see there it's loaded up in its full, full glory and you can see it at the end of it where we add a little bit of gobbledygooping it's there printed uh, on the screen and you see that it's got our one inch border going all the way around our content within the screen Okay, then, so that's simply how you use UI print or air print uh, within the Objective C language. So I hope this helps any of your apps or projects at the moment. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more up-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course the links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.